But to my shout at. <laughs> oh boy. I'm gonna name some players, okay? I'm gonna name. I'm gonna give y'all. I thought you were gonna say name some people. Oh, boys, yeah. right? <laughs> that one, boy. I'm gonna name four basketball players, y'all. Okay? Corey Joseph, Ty- Tyus Jones, <laughs> DeAndre Jordan, and Dwayne Dedman. Are any of those players? Would you rather have any of those players over Terry Rozier? No, absolutely not. I would think about DeAndre Jordan. I would think about DeAndre. Uh, he's falling off. Thirty-five year old DeAndre Jordan. No. Okay. No. 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 <laughs> but yet somehow, <laughs> some way, the Bleacher Report <laughs> has Terry Rozier ranked as the number one worst contract free agent signing in 2019 in the NBA. You got to stick with that narrative, man. How? Please tell me what the hell Tyus Jones does on a nightly basis. Please tell me what the hell Dwayne Dedman contributes anything. Please tell me why Harrison Barnes is not on this list. Please tell me, please tell me what what Corey Joseph, what he contributes to that team on a nightly basis. To can, can somebody please explain to me how any of those four players are more valuable than Terry Rozier is to the Charlotte Hornets? Somebody please give me a logical explanation. Quick fact. DeAndre Jordan actually just got benched in favor Jared of Jared Allen, Allen wow. about a week or so ago. Say that one more time. DeAndre Jordan mm-hmm. was benched in favor of Jared Allen about a week or two ago. And the only reason why he got that contract is because he's friends with Kevin Durant and Kyrie, and Kyrie Irving. Four years, $40 million. And he got benched. And he got benched in favor of... You know what? I, his name isn't even Jared Allen. I don't acknowledge him. I acknowledge him as, as NBA Street. NBA Street. <laughs> that, is my name. that is my name, NBA Street. I got one shout out. Shout, shout at two. So I was reading an article uh, by Sports Illustrated. They list every NBA team, what they should be thankful for for Thanksgiving. The Charlotte Hornets, according to them, had nothing to be thankful for. <laughs> so that ties into my point at your shout out. <laughs> That, wh- Michael Jordan's the worst owner in sports. What you didn't know? I so every major media outlet, probably Sports Illustrated and Bleach Report, probably I'm I'm gonna guess had us as the worst team in the league. That we are definitely gonna no no not just might be oh the Hornets are definitely gonna be the worst team in the league. Why is it that? Every single major news outlet wants to take a shot at the Charlotte Hornets when there are other. NBA franchises who do a lot worse and who make a lot worse choices. Somebody please explain why explain. that. It, I am sick of it. We have a I, fickle fan base. Time, time out. Time out, Riley. Time out. We can't be thankful for Devontae Graham. We can't be thankful for P.J. Washington, who is going to be on the all-rookie team. We can't be thankful for Miles Bridges' much-improved play. How come that is never discussed amongst the national media? Why? Because they don't watch Charlotte Hornets games because it's predetermined that we're going to lose. They actually can't watch our games because Charlotte ended their contract with Spurs. You know what? Hey, guys, I want to thank you for watching and for listening. Uh, Sick of it, man. We, we appreciate the support. Don't forget, to, <laughs> don't forget to Sick like, share, comment, subscribe, and follow us on all platforms. And we'll see you guys next week. All right? Peace.